Okay, this is the second progression in the reactive glute activation. Uh, so we went in, in the progression one from the double leg to the single leg, and now we can take it on from there. People quite often look at me quite blankly when I give them this as an exercise because it looks very low key and not very demanding. But particularly if you've had a history of ankle injury, this is a great exercise for you. And you'll see as we progress why. But it's all designed to teach the body to get the glutes to fire and to hold you in an unstable position. Okay, so if you remember, we started with a double leg hop, right? And now I'm just using a marker on the floor. So I started with my double leg hop and I worked on my soft landing and then my holding for two seconds. The simplest way to progress it initially is just increase the distance. Yeah, so we just double the distance and perform the same exercise. Because the further the distance, the more the momentum, the more the load we have to offset. And we can do exactly the same thing there for the single leg. So we start with a single leg, relatively short, as we're practicing our land and our hold. And then what we do is just push the distance further. Remember to hold for two seconds at the end. Not, don't straighten up, don't sit up. Hold it in that sort of bent forward position. So that's one way to bring it on. The second way, like I say, it's all about building momentum. So increasing the force that the body's having to stop. And the way we can do that is to double hop. Yeah, and holding on the other end. So we do two hops, two hops to stabilize at the end there. Obviously the force is increasing the further we go. We then mix it up a bit, quite like this one, because we don't just move forward in a straight line. So this is all again about building stability. Don't get them that right. So now we're going to change direction, okay? So I'm going to start facing forward, now I'm going to hop to the side, yeah? Change direction as we go. You do either way, yeah? And then hold it in that position. You can see it's a lot harder because we're, we're pushing round and then asking the angle to, uh, the ankle to suddenly hold us in a different direction. So again, we can do that and we can increase the distance on it. So now we've got our single leg down and now we're doing our change of direction. What we can do now is just start to mix things up. So what we want to do is change angles, increase um, the force, so that we're increasing what, the, what we have to decelerate. So you can do it in different ways. You can go from a side to a change of direction, yeah? So all you're doing is going to the top and then stabilizing at the end. You could play with these, the side and then down, yeah? Or you could do, this way a hop to the front and a side step to a change of direction yeah you can combine them together the only limit to it you can just do a straightforward hop to change your direction yeah but when you're when you when you're doing them don't ever do something where you would cross your leg okay so don't hop forward that way and then try and change over that way because we don't ever really want to teach our body that movement because it's not functional it's not practical and it's not something i think anyone does in any sport really um maybe gymnastics or something that's different so but just don't train yourself to cross your legs so always make sure your movements your legs never cross each other's path and it, yeah, like I say, you can do as much with it as you want. You can do two hops, change direction, side hop, change direction and hold. Always have that prominent hold at the end. Build up the speed, the momentum, the changes of directions, and you're gonna have your ankles firing, catching you in all different ways. And then your glutes activated as long as you're keeping that bent leg position and then forced to, 
stop you because ankle injuries, knee injuries, they don't happen in slow motion or unless you've been kicked, you know, but they happen when you step on a stone, you trip off a curb. They happen fast, dynamically, and normally at a funny angle. So the more you've trained your hip, your glutes, your ankle to support you in those different directions at speed, you're reducing your risk of, of uh, it's a good preventative exercise to reduce any of these injuries reoccurring. And that's it.